and only one winner, which is so difficult, because I asked her earlier on, which one do you like? And she said, I like them all, which is a very hard job. So I'm just going to have a little chat with her a moment. So just giving you an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, having a good look at them once more. And if you do want to show your appreciation, please do, because they really do like it. The amount of work and preparation that goes into these turnouts is incredible. They're shining. Princess Louise, they're going with a very special fellow ponies, as I said, belonging to her late grandfather. and only one winner, which is so difficult, because I asked her earlier on, which one do you like? And she said, I like them all, which is a very hard job, so I'm just going to have a little chat with her a moment. So just giving you an opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, having a good look at them once more. And if you do want to show your appreciation, please do, because they really do like it. The amount of work and preparation that goes into these turnouts is incredible. They're shining. Princess Louise, they're going with a very special fellow ponies, as I said, belonging to her late grandfather. Brown Edgary, Toby Brown then following behind. And then our visitors from America. <laughs> then uh, following uh, Toby Brown is uh, Tom Burgess. From Virginia in America. It's lovely to have our American visitors here with us. And uh, thank you so much, of course, to Westways, who have very kindly lent these vehicles and horses to them. I was talking to a lady on, they'd sort of do like a, a lottery of who's going to come across. She was a bit upset because she didn't win the lottery. Probably didn't bribe them enough, probably, but I don't, I don't know. <laughs> there we are. Here's one of our visitors with his team of Frisians. And you've brought the sunshine from America, which is even better. This is Fawn Van Single, as I mentioned earlier on, from Florida. And David Saunders, who was actually the late uh, Duke of Edinburgh's coachman for many years. And from Florida now. Sunny Hillier here, the coloured horse just going past. Rupert Barnard there with the uh, coloured horse. Paul White just going past. Bob Alexander with his uh, girl Delandes. John Henry White, very smart. The matching lady with the wheels. This is where they really do concentrate. And of course we're back to uh, Princess Louise again.
Well, it gives them an opportunity to uh, show you their fantastic turnouts and their carriages. A lot of these carriages are very much original. Bob Turner here with his girl and Anders. Great support for the driving. The coaching club, so many of them are members of as well. So now we have the uh, Hackney Ponies. Hackney Ponies, this is Jess Dudley with a pair of little Hackney Ponies. Ivor Barrett then. And he's come all the way from Jersey. Just look at these vehicles and harnesses. Uh, Andrew Collins there with his uh, Welsh Cobb. And as I mentioned, these are across uh, horses between uh, Frisian Highland. Oh, that's uh, Jimmy Jeffries there. Michael Hartland, again with the uh, Frisians. Hartland, very well known for uh, building carriages as well. Then we've got uh, Judy Rawls with the uh, little pony. Ben Lawless. His mum sitting alongside. It's a team of Frisians, a pair of Frisians again. Jack Harris. His team of uh, Frisian ponies, uh, sorry, Hackney ponies. Um, this is uh, 2470, oh, a little story about this one, the coloured uh, pair going around here. This is uh, a piece of spacing. Russell Hand is uh, actually the whip on this one, accompanied by his wife Pat. And uh, he wanted me to tell you a story, and if you look carefully at her hat as she's coming round, she actually got a crash helmet underneath that hat. And mainly a few years ago, six years ago, she had a, an accident, and she tripped, and believe it or not, had a terrific head injury and most of her head has been put back together with titanium. So she does not want to take any risks at all, and she's had someone to make a hat specially for her. Well, I don't think you would ever know. It looks absolutely fantastic. So she's out with her husband, just going along the front, the far side, and well done. It's nice to see her fit and well again. Well, the hours of preparation to even get to this standard is incredible. First of all, you've got to find the horses or the ponies. They've got to be the right temperament. You train them then to uh, pull a vehicle. You've got special vehicles for that. You would certainly would not put them in your best vehicles to start off with. Generally to uh, exercise vehicles, the pleasure driving vehicles. And then if you want to go into showing, then you can uh, buy a proper gig. Well, turn out if you want to do if you want to do carriage, carriage driving. And again, if you don't want to uh, do the standard, but just literally go driving around the beautiful countryside of wherever you live, you can carry on using an exercise vehicle or a pleasure driving vehicle. However, I will tell you, I don't think it's that cheap a sport. But to uh, get them to this, the hours the grooms have taken just this morning brushing, plaiting, putting white chalk on uh, all their white socks, and they put them on down the face. They put a little bit of baby oil sometime around the, the muzzle and the eyes just to make them shine that little bit more. Just complete turnout. The harness, they were struggling yesterday, sitting there in that damp old weather, polishing up this harness, polishing the vehicles, especially if they'd been out practicing and they've got mud all over the vehicles it takes an awful lot of cleaning and that is what they have been doing for the last uh, since yesterday to come in here and they're absolutely gleaming 
So the grooms really do take a credit for a lot of this turnout as well. And all the helpers, the mums and the dads. As well, I said, Megan has uh, had a really hard job here. She's smiling now because the pressure is off a little bit, isn't it? Well, Megan was just talking to me about uh, her turnouts and why she has picked the one she has picked, which you will find out in a minute, and the reason why she picked the one she picked, which I will tell you when that uh, winner comes forward. But it is very much, which one would you like? I bet you've got your own idea sitting there in the audience. Which one would you think is the uh, most elegant picture? And everybody will have their own opinion. As I said, you do not have to know anything about driving whatsoever. Well, a very happy uh, Sunny Hillier here. Grinning from ear to ear. And thank you, Paul Roger. And of course, they have a fantastic trade stand just down the other side of if you walk down towards the collecting area, you'll see a lovely double-decker bus. And just to the left-hand side of that bus is a marquee. And that is the uh, Paul Roger trade stand. And I'm sure they have many, many bottles of champagne left to drink. Nothing nicer on a beautiful sunny day like this. So do go and visit them. And they'd be delighted to see you. So everybody, of course, has a commemorative reset to remember their time here, 2023. Meet of the British Driving Society. I said very much a concourse d'elegance class. Very much different from the driving classes when they are actually looking for making sure that everything is perfectly correct, the harness is correct, the vehicle is suitable to the uh, vehicle and the harness and the horse, that is very, very different now. As I said, Megan doesn't know much about horses, so this is a completely different thing for her lover. 